Hello, everyone. Welcome to New Family. Today we have a fun app to share with you. Rudy Rainbow and the Lost Colors. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Shall we have a look together? Let's、hmm. go. Breakfast at Rudy's. Eighty-six degrees, sunny, nice weather all day long. Heat wave, puh! Oh great! Then I'll be going to see Tommy Tornado. It's a lot more fun to play in the yard. Now you take care, Rudy. I have to go to the office. It seems I'll have plenty to do today. Tommy and Rudy are playing with Sir and Snowflake and Stella Star in the yard. It's pretty warm out today. Who wants to play hide and seek? I'll go first. Good idea, Tommy. Let's do it. Hee <laughs> hee! I've already thought of a good hiding place. <laughs> Harold Hurricane is enjoying his day off at the pool. But don't break anything, kids. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> What did I just say? Don't break anything. Hee hee! Whoops! Why can't you just let me relax in peace? Oh no, Rudy! Your colours are gone. They've probably been blown away by the storm. What are we going to do now? Uh oh! <laughs> oh dear! I'm afraid that was a bit rough. How are we ever going to explain this to your mother, Tommy? And here she comes. Oh no, my poor yard! Rudy, what in the world happened to you? Hello, Mrs. Breeze. My colours have flown away. Did you do that, Harold? We'll take care of that in a breeze. Come on, let's search the yard and whirl up the leaves. Have you ever flown a kite? Then you surely know that it will only work on windy days. I'm going to show you where the wind comes from. When the sun shines upon the earth, some places heat up faster than others. Land heats up much faster than the water in a lake or in the sea. That's where the air heats up too. You may not be able to see it, but it's always in motion. Warm air is lighter. 
That is why it rises up faster. In its place, the warm air leaves behind a gap. And now that gap has to be quickly filled with new air. That's where the cold air comes into play. It tries to fill the gap, and by doing that, it creates wind in that direction. I am a breeze, and I am made of air that moves very slowly. My husband Harold, however, is a particularly fast wind. Now, why don't you try making wind? Then we can blow away the leaves in the yard in no time. There will be a big gap in a moment. Then drag me there. You did great. Come on, once again. Whee! And now, once more, as hard as you can. Look, Rudy, your red is lying on the ground back there. Now, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, that's much better. Mr. Hurricane, can you explain this, please? The forecast said there would be no wind blowing today. Aren't you on vacation today? And what happened to you, Rudy? Why, you're all pale. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Rudy's colours have just flown away. Did you happen to see where they went? No, sir, and I'm afraid not. But maybe Mr. Polaris in the Lost and Found office can help you. Mr. Polaris's Lost and Found office. Hello, Dad. Did anyone turn any colours into you? Because Rudy has lost his. Well, let me see, Stella. I should have a watercolour box somewhere. But where can it be? I'm all flustered again. Oh, oh. Kids, could you help me, please? Phew, my head is spinning. My pretty constellation is completely upside down. Constellations are groups of stars that make up an image together. Thousands of years ago, people already saw different objects and figures in the night sky. They named them and imagined stories for them. There are two constellations that look like ladles. That is why they are called Little Dipper and Big Dipper. You can see them almost all year long in the night sky. Once you've discovered these two constellations, you won't have any problems finding me, too. I'm the first and brightest star on the tip of the Little Dipper's handle. While the other stars change their position in the sky, I can always be found in the same spot, almost right above the North Pole. When you look at me, you're always looking north. But with this hubbub, that's not going to work. Please fix the night sky.
The stars of the Little Dipper are not where they're supposed to be. Can you drag the stars back into place? Perfect! Why don't you look into the sky tonight and try to find me? Remember, just look for the ladles. Let's meet Leo Lightning. You already know that a lot is going on inside a thundercloud. But in order for lightning and thunder to form, energy has to build up first. Let's take a closer look at the inside of the cloud. Imagine a big party taking place inside the cloud and all raindrops and ice grains are celebrating. That can be pretty crowded. The wind constantly jumbles up the raindrops and ice grains and when they meet, they rub up against each other. With so much friction, the cloud is charged up with electricity. It keeps on charging until the energy rushes to the earth as a lightning bolt and creates a loud boom. Those two things actually happen at the same time, but the light from the lightning bolt is incredibly fast. So, you'll always see the lightning bolt first and hear the thunder a bit later. I need energy to repair the lantern. Come on. Let's charge the cloud up with electricity and make the raindrops dance. Let's go! Rudy Rainbow and the Lost Colors. Hmm, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Hello, my name is Stella Star and I live on the Milky Way. Hello you, my name is Leo Lightning. I'm the electrician in Novemberville. Thanks so much for playing with us. Come back and see us again. Remember to subscribe and give us a like. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for the next preview. If you like this app, the links are in the description below. Have fun with your kids and stay safe always. Bye!